Continue reading the Holy Gospel according to St. John with explanation by Blessed Philip. Chapter 5, verses 5 through 7. Continue reading explanation. He answers meekly, having no idea to whom he was speaking, but hoping that Jesus would help him into the world. Note well that the Lord asked, Wilt thou be made whole? And not, Wilt thou that I make thee whole? He poses the question as he did to avoid any appearance of boastfulness. Chapter 5, verses 8 through 10. Jesus said unto him, Arise, take up thy bed and walk. And immediately the man was made whole and took up his bed and walked. And on the same day was the Sabbath. The Jews therefore said unto him, said unto him that was cured, It is the Sabbath day. It is not lawful for thee to carry thy bed. Explanation. Jesus commands the paralytic to pick up his bed in order to confirm that the miracle was no illusion. Unless his limbs were truly firm and strong, the man would not have been able to carry his bed. The Lord didn't require, as he did with many others, that the paralytic show face before he was healed. For a man has never seen Christ work a sign. Therefore, the Lord did require faith of those he was about to heal. He had already performed other miracles on their, in their presence. See how the paralytic believed as soon as he heard Jesus' word. He didn't hesitate and think, he's mad. I've been here 38 years without being made whole. And now all at once he commands me to stand. Instead, he believed and rose to his feet. The Lord heals on the Sabbath to teach men to see the observance of the law in a new light, that they honor the Sabbath by refraining from evil, not by resting. How could the law forbid one from doing good on Sabbath when the law comes from God, who is ceaseless in doing good? Chapter 5, verses 11 through 13. He answered them, He that made me whole, the same said, unto me, Take up thy bed, and walk. Then asked they him, What man is that which said unto thee, Take up thy bed, and walk? And he that was healed knew not who it was, for Jesus had conveyed himself away, and multitude being in that place. Explanation. One must marvel at the man's boldness. The Jews badgered him. It is not lawful for thee to carry thy bed on the Sabbath. But he boldly proclaimed his benefactor, he that made me whole, the same said unto me, as if saying, If you, you have lost your mind and talk nonsense, if you forbid me to obey the man who saved me from such a long drawn out and grievous life. The Jews didn't ask him, Who is it that made you whole? But who is it that said unto thee, Take up thy bed and walk? They blinded themselves to the miracle and were obsessed by what they consider a transgression of the Sabbath. Jesus conveyed himself away for two reasons. First, with the healer absent, the Jews would be more likely to believe the man's testimony because it would seem that he was simply telling what happened and not attributing the miracle to Jesus. Second, the Lord withdrew so as not to provoke the Jews any further. He knew the mere sight of the object of envy is enough to ignite them, is enough to ignite the flame of spite. He wanted the deed to be assessed calmly on its own merit alone. And truly, the more the Jews accused, integrate, interrogate, and examine, the more swiftly travels word of the miracle. Chapter 5. Verses 14 through 16. Afterwards, Jesus findeth him in a temple and said unto him, Behold, thou art made whole, sin no more, lest the worst thing come unto thee. The man departed and told the Jews that it was Jesus who, made, who had made him whole. And therefore did the Jews persecute Jesus and sought to slay him, because he had done these things on the Sabbath day. 
Glory to your Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.